Good morning, everybody. Welcome back aboard. It's a brand new year. Looks like Mr. Corey up here about to make his turn. Like a 
car is trying to come out.
is she's gonna be impatient and I gotta keep an eye on her. windows clean it up clean it clean it clean it oh gosh that made it worse <laughs> come on focus there we go all right we're off to Cheshire Bridge now we have our new stop over there we're going at it easy for you on these little streets I'll tell you that not at all you don't have this problem here <laughs> be thankful brother this city congestion can get on your nerves I mean it keeps you sharp definitely have little room for error that's for sure Is 
empty. It's empty too. taken care of. tricky there's no actual sleeve on the uh, right side so you have to line up just right with this left sleeve to get in there if not uh, part of your fork could go in here and be under on the other side you don't want to get stuck in one of these they're hard to get on
out the way so I'm not blocking these uh, garages.
Not everything on the East Coast is soft staff. see the recycling truck over here but I'm wondering if it comes a different day from the days that I come here and I'm not sure there's nothing on the cans but it could be one of three it's either pilot waste solutions um, Connex recycling or um, be green recycling all three of those operate with real low dumpsters. Eventually, I will run into that truck. That's what it smells like.
starting to get a little dingy. We gotta put some soap and water on. And with all the rain we had, I didn't wanna take it to the beacon and uh, just to get it right back dirty as soon as I pull out, so. <clears throat> Sandy Springs now, which isn't far from here. Probably about a 15 minute ride. But I shall return, boys and girls. that again it's rare that you actually have a customer that bags up everything <laughs> very rare like I said before she's a real sweetheart so we do what we can for her keep this thing rolling
unless you put on a new one. Okay. I'm getting old.
Shark Shark today.
that'll do it for today. We'll be back throughout the week. She's gonna hit me. <laughs> Alright gang, so we are back on a beautiful Wednesday morning. Had a little snafu. Alternator died on me. But I was able to get to this plaza here and um, caught a lift to next train and they had the alternator and stopped which was cool because I was kind of worried that they may not but it worked out um, actually ran into some problems because the old alternator the pulley was frozen it's been on there probably since the truck was new and this baby is 19 years old here's the old one here so I took a walk. There's actually a um, Goodyear down the road and she wanted to help, but she couldn't. She was saying that her mechanic wasn't there yet and the only technician she had was brand new. So she didn't want to let him uh, tinker with it. So a little ways down the road, there's a caliber collision. So I went in and I'm very thankful just to show you how God works. Um, I talked with the technicians inside and he actually broke the pulley off for me with his impact wrench. I offered to pay him something and he told me no. You know, <laughs> He said, don't even worry about it. You know, he was just happy to help. Just goes to show, you know, I know there's a lot of negativity out here in the world, but man, we got some good people out here still, you know, that'll do what they can for you. So I'm very thankful of that. So we get this back on and we'll put our belt back on. Forgive me for sniffling so much. 
This weather's been crazy. It's starting to warm up now, and I actually got kind of hot from dealing with this and walking down and back. We actually walked about a little about half a mile down the road. Just thankful that they were able to help me out, you know. New alternator looks good on that, don't it? It's good when you can not only replace parts, which is cool, and any mechanic could tell you, anybody can replace parts. It's being able to diagnose. That's what gives you that mechanical aptitude. You know, I knew it was a charging problem, so <clears throat> just being able to, this here is the tensioner. That's what keeps the belt snug. So we'll push this down as far as I can. <clears throat> to slide the belt back over. Yeah. <laughs> She don't want to go. Let's see. It's kind of hard, even though I'm not that big. It does require some space. There's one. I'm to take it off that big pulley. <clears throat> Tell you one thing. This is not fun. There we go. She's coming. All right. Uh-oh, got my finger caught. So, belt's back on. And now, connect our wires. Um, can't see. So, this is my power. Ground is here. And I think it was this one where I connect the how portion. Uh, this little small wire right here connects to the alternator and sends a signal for the uh, packer system. So we got everything hooked up, everything snug. Now we're gonna go back on the inside. There's another American truck. It's that 902. Make sure is that it's charging properly before we go anywhere jack the cab back over a little bit so I don't have to climb as much Got to detail this engine. I had it clean at one point. It's been a while since I degreased it real good. Should be good. Didn't want to bring it too far. Not just yet. She's going anyway. <laughs> oh no. I think she's gonna need a jump. Yeah.
day in the morning family we made it so Friday found a new little friend this morning if you can see kitty hello you don't want to talk now oh there he is <laughs> been talking all morning to me victim of the passenger seat he was knocked out helping out uh, dispose on my second load here they actually uh, got a new contract with uh, quite a few waffle houses looks like the tow truck set this one right on the wall so I gotta be careful scared of the truck initially um, when I brought him in or her the engine uh, kind of was messing with him but after a few cans <laughs> it was alright laid down on Teddy and that was the end of that Continuation from the other day Once I got the alternator on And everything hooked back up My main two batteries for the starter were, uh, were drained From where um, the truck had been running off nothing but the batteries that morning The accessory battery was at 14 volts but um, ended up having to get a roadside service to come out. And I was down a total of five hours and all. But uh, the first roadside service I had called, they uh, told me they were coming. And I checked back with them like an hour later. Well, actually, almost two hours later, had went, two hours had went by. So I checked back with them. The guy tells me that his guy had a couple calls in front of me, which, okay, cool. But he tells me, yeah, he'll be there in 10, 15 minutes. I'm like, okay. Fit. Hang up with him. Another hour goes by. So at this point, you know, I started looking up more services that could come out. And uh, finally got in touch with a guy. And he said that it would take him 35 minutes and he was on time. So it took him less than five minutes to do what he needed to do. He had this, um, uh, I guess you would call it a booster pack. Probably about the size of a lunch bag, a little, a little bigger than a lunch bag. And he hooked it up to my batteries waited a couple minutes and he told me fire it up and sure enough she fired right up voltage jumped right back to 14 like it's supposed to be so we got back on our trail um would have been a seven hour day because my engine hours total seven but we ended up actually being out 
think it was 15 hours that day. Total. Yeah. I hear you over there. You telling everybody hello? <laughs> I love cats. This one here was at my very first stop. And it was freezing cold this morning. It still is. Um, I have a hand load stop that I get. There's a Dollar Tree where the manager puts bales out for me. And then there's a furniture store uh, right next to it. So I collect those on Tuesday and Friday. Well, I heard something in the background and at the furniture store, right where they pile their cardboard up, there's some broken bricks on the foundation. And uh, up under there, that's where this little guy was, or lady. He was crying. Didn't see a mom around anywhere. Looked like, like the poor little kitty had been abandoned. So, I got number three now. <laughs> But yeah, we'll be back in a few uh, at my compactors in downtown Decatur. It'll take a while to get there. I'm out in Snailville now. We gotta go to Decatur from here. Hit Highway 78 once I come off of Annistown Road. Take it straight into Decatur. Hopefully traffic isn't bad. We'll catch up with you guys in a sec. I just stopped for fuel and ran into my old uh, superintendent from the county, Mr. Ron McKinney. Good to see him. I haven't seen him in a while now. It's probably been over six months since I last saw him. Looking good, gaining a lot of weight, <laughs> enjoying that retired life. Yep. We're actually going to head to um, our final Waffle House on the list that I have for Dispose. I came here yesterday, but there was no can at all. And when I was on my way to my first stop where I found my kitty, which is right uh, in the plaza where I just fueled up, actually, I noticed there was a can here, so I let the operations manager know, and they paid me. So it's about to go up in the air if it's not blocked.
grease can. I'm gonna push this grease can, this grease trap over with my forks. And then I'll be able to set the can in for them. taking it up they look small but they hold a lot of grease a lot exactly what I was watching out for people getting over in this turning lane here with no signal that's why I didn't pull out yeah we'll be home soon Smell what I smell. Some of those just 
exposed cans really stink. And they set up for so long with garbage in them, so that smell is just awful. <laughs> That's a discussion for another day, another time. needs to change the design on our casters stuff like this <laughs> you try to go into the can because it rolls uh, to the front and back not to the side like it should so you're gonna have issues like this Lord knows why they they did that with their casters I, I really don't know kind of silly in my opinion can I don't even know why they brought it out DPI, please change them back. Thank you.
Sandy Springs now. It's 9.18 and I like to get there before 10. So we shall return, probably not at that stop, but one of the others uh, that's remaining. Yeah, I see this. <laughs> Spoiled already. Wow.
want to check the next stop and make sure it's a can there. It wasn't the other day, but we shall return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. All right, gang, we made it to the last leg of the route. We're at McDonough and we're about to get canned foods. Yep, we're almost done. <laughs> so, little fellow or lady finally got the courage to get up closer. Had been trying um, for the later part of the morning. Finally got up on the doghouse. And there the kitty remains. <laughs> Riding shotgun. It's a nice unit. Whew. Friday, 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 Friday. <laughs> Finally. One more day to go. Then we can get some rest. Do it all over again Monday. Yeah. Well, I will. You won't. You'll be at home.
haven't touched this one uh, since the holidays in two weeks, but I say it, they really don't use it. Um, it's just here because the city forces them to have it. They have open tops that they use and uh, a bunch of compactors. But everywhere you go, every town and city has different rules. But you would think an industrial business like this uh, wouldn't have to have it. Yeah, I know, right? that I have to get tomorrow I'll just leave this on the truck and dump it all out in the morning at Wastebro saves me some time and energy but I pray you guys all have a blessed weekend Lord willing we'll do this again Monday thanks for tuning in and don't forget to check out Dumping with Dave Hopper Hustle Rolling with Dre uh, man, <laughs> I gotta do better. Forgive me, forgive me. Cause uh, there, there's so many um, YouTubers, young and older guys, that uh, film these trucks. I'm gonna get you guys cause I got a lot of favorites too. So I will give you all shout outs as we go. But yeah, love you guys. We'll holla.